Iran's Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdullahian today met his Indian counterpart, External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar. He is on a three-day visit to India with an aim to further bilateral ties between the two countries. The Ministry of External Affairs tweeted a warm welcome and say the visit will boost deep historical ties at Maktashit. The Iranian minister will travel to Mumbai and Hyderabad after concluding his engagements in New Delhi. India and Iran have been jointly focusing on improving connectivity between Southeast Asia and Central Asia. Located in the Balochistan province on Iran's southern coast, Chabahar port is expected to become a key regional transit hub. It has been dev developed by India, Iran and Afghanistan to boost connectivity and trade ties. This is the first visit to India by a senior minister of a member nation of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation after the controversial remarks on the Prophet triggered outrage in the Gulf countries and soon spread to other Muslim-majority countries. His visit comes two days after Iran joined other Gulf nations in summoning Indian envoys to protest the remarks made against the Prophet. India has responded by saying that the comments were made by fringe elements and do not reflect the views of the government. And for more on this story, we on principal diplomatic correspondent Sid Hansibal is joining us live from New Delhi. Sid Hansibal, good to see you. The Iran foreign minister's visit comes in the backdrop of the backlash of our comments on Islam. Do we know what was discussed and agreed on by the two foreign ministers? And what's the impact of India quoting Iran? Uh, well, uh, today the Iranian foreign minister is in Delhi. It's a one-day visit here in Delhi, even though he's here in India for uh, almost four days. He goes to Mumbai and Hyderabad later. But uh, today he held key talks with the Indian External Affairs Minister Dr. S. J. Shankar and a pact was also signed. We are right now waiting for a readout by both New Delhi and from uh, the Iranian foreign ministry. Of course, the visit happens uh, in the shadow of uh, what has happened over the weekend. Uh, uh, the Indian envoys being summoned by various West Asian countries, including by Iran, over the remarks made by now suspended members of the ruling party. But uh, nonetheless, uh, uh, when it comes to today's talks, key focus areas are on people to people relationship. A lot of Indians travel to uh, Iran as pilgrimage, uh, and a lot of uh, Iranians come to India. Uh, second, of course, is on connectivity. Chabar port, as you pointed out, is one of the key projects uh, India is keen on given that it provides India connectivity not only with Iran but also with Afghanistan and Central Asia. Uh, there are of course regional and global uh, issues that are the third uh, area of focus which of course includes uh, Afghanistan. We know that India has started conversations with uh, Taliban last week. We know an Indian team was in Kabul. So uh, Afghanistan remains another area of uh, conversation. And fourth and the most important part is Will India import oil from Iran? Because remember, uh, before 2019, Iran was among the top three uh, countries from which India used to import uh, uh, oil from. But uh, that uh, uh, changed after the sanctions, the American sanctions. And since then, of course, um, there hasn't been any uh, import from uh, Iran when it comes to oil. Now, in the aftermath of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, we know that India is getting uh, cheap crude oil from Russia and India is keen to get more uh, uh, right. cheaper oil uh, from various other destinations. So will Iran feature back is the big question. Live from New Delhi, our principal diplomatic correspondent, Sidhant Sibal. Thank you. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.